Good afternoon, everybody. Gary here. It's Tuesday, September 30th, 2014, day 84. End of 12 weeks. That's 12. As in three months. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. July, August, September. Yeah, I guess that is three months. Except one of them months had five weeks, so that really is not quite three months. End of next week will be three months. But I digress. Um, today, in the typed portion of my blog, I have included some interesting numbers. We've been doing this diet long enough to now know what it cost and how it compares to our before diet bills. Now, some of my numbers are going to look high. And if you just look at the average food budget that the government puts out, or excuse me, the average grocery budget that the government puts out for a family of four, it is. The government's budget does not include things like cleaning supplies, toothpaste, paper towels, toilet paper, shampoo, which I use lots of, soap, dishwasher detergent, sink detergent, laundry detergent, dog food, etc. It also doesn't include dining out, um, drinks bought at convenience stores, all that kind of fun stuff. So before you start saying, oh my god, it's the money they spend, remember those. Um, basically, April, May, and June, which was completely before diet, we averaged right around $2,070 a month for everything household and food related. Dining out, food bought while we're at work, all that kind of fun stuff. Since then, starting in July, when I was on the diet for 22 days by myself, we spent $1,900. So that's already right at $170 savings. In August, when Johnny was on the diet for five days, we only spent $1,658. In September, we've only spent $1,307. So that is right at a $800 a month savings on our food slash household slash cleaning slash body over slash dirty hair slash clean clothes slash clean dishes slash unstarved dog budget. I like that. Um, I know because somebody's already said it to me that there's somebody out there that's going to say, you don't separate your non-edibles from your edibles. So you can't really compare what it costs before the diet to what it costs during the diet. Yes, this person is looking for an excuse not to be on the diet. While they're not quite in my boat, they'll be there eventually if they don't do something soon. Um... I got news for people who's going to say that because he's not going to be the only one. We've started a diet. We're losing weight. I still wash my head. I still wash my face. I still deodorize my pits and brush my teeth. I still wear clean clothes. I still wipe my hiney when I poop. So I still buy all the household products I bought before. I hadn't got rid of my dog. I still feed her. And also, I don't eat cheap steak. I eat good steak and I eat good fish. So, the food I buy isn't cheap anyway, even now. Um, sorry, I had to go there. But these numbers are very interesting. I, I am just overjoyed to know that I am saving that kind of money. And, yes... I still, on Sundays, I may feed between four and eight people. So that's part of my food budget. But it still counts. Oh, and the other kicker, the diet money includes office visits, medications, and 
supplements, and lab fees. So it's not just food. It's including all the other expenses. That's total diet expenses. And I'm saving $800 a month. Yeah. If you had, if you was using what it cost as an excuse, you ain't got one no more. If you need to be on this, let's get on this. Come join me. It works. I'm proof. Look back at my blog. Look at my face. It's looking better. I'm having to buy new clothes. It's a good thing I'm going to have that money left over because clothes ain't cheap. <laughs> in case y'all are not, not noticing, I am in a better mood today. Um, what happened yesterday is on the way to work, Johnny wrecked her Jeep. Um, yes, this is the Jeep that we paid too much for in February, so it's not even old yet. Um, and it was her fault, hit another vehicle. And the reason I'm so upset about it is because while I'm saving the money on this, this is my third $500 deductible this year, and I'm just hoping my insurance company keeps us because it's three claims in, since January. But it's okay. She's okay. The other people are okay. It's not terrible damage, but it's still a claim. Y'all know how insurance companies are. Dealing with them, having to think about it, having to make the monthly payment, them, them, then them decide to raise it on you when you've had three claims. Technically, this is our fourth claim in twelve, thirteen years. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, because there was a time there where we didn't have any claims other than towings, which don't count. And the last claim before the one starting in January of this year was in 2004 when Kristen totaled out my truck. So, and we've been with the same insurance company the whole time. So hopefully they just go up on me and they don't kill it. Well, tomorrow, Johnny weighs in. I don't. I'll have a Johnny number for you tomorrow. And for today, day 84. Let's get out, bye.